That's I didn't like that. These are laws That's that right. you have to do for your salvation. Right. Yes, you, you don't think God will come back and destroy you for when it happens. All the time when you hear the Bible. Yes. It's a lot that we even the way you dress, God will judge you. Bring it up. He got the way the Israelites call their super supposed to dress. Right. 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 We're supposed to be the light amongst the world, not be like the world. Teach! We don't, we're not begging nobody to hear the word of God. We just let y'all know. We let y'all know to hear y'all sin, whether you like it or not. You know, you don't heard one of them, but y'all still disobeying the word of God. They're going to be up to y'all. He might get judged when you walk down the street. Which I command thee this day. You're familiar with the Bible, right? A little bit. All right. 
So Moses telling the Israelites, he said, if you don't listen to God, what's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, he's talking to the Israelites. How do I know that? Deuteronomy 1 and 1. It's the same book. It's the same book. We'll read it real quick. He talking. He, and you can't buy nothing. This is the Lord's Sabbath day. See, that's a sin too. You can't, you can't go buy that, that, Here's the thing though. You can't buy a cell. That's one commandment. You'll be breaking. On, on top of the other ones. I'm, I'm a, hey, you got to listen to the word of God. But we're going to get everything decently in order. He asked a question too. I'm going to ask real. I'm asking all y'all questions on who are y'all. Who are, who are we? We are. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake. Who spoke? Which Moses spake uh -huh. unto all Israel. Now, all race. All Israel. So now, in the same book, go right back. Now, God said to the Israelites that all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. The Israelites will serve their enemies. Who serving their enemies today? Who on the bottom? You got white folk. I'm, 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 I'm going to give you my three top main races on this earth. You got white people. You got Chinese. You got the Arab. Bring it up. And you got the... Uh, the, uh, the Amite, then you got us. You got black, black and Hispanic. We the last race on earth. God up. said, now nah, you're going to be serving these people. Ain't you serving? Caucasians first. You got the Arabs in your neighborhood selling your blunts. Blunts and Coke 45. And you got the East Indian. They own every damn uh, cheap ass hotel for you to go sleep in. What? They got Chinatown in y'all neighborhood. They got everything in y'all neighborhood. God said, you're going to serve your enemy. Read it out. Which the Lord shall send against thee. God said he going to send against the blacks and the Spanish. I ain't write this because of what? Moses said, if you Negroes don't keep God's commandments, even till today, you're going to serve your enemy. And, and you're you going to keep playing Russian roulette with your life, and I'm going to take it. That's what's going to happen if y'all don't repent. Read on. In hunger. In food, you're going to serve your enemy. In, in food, you're going to serve your enemy. Read on. And in thirst. For, for water, you're going to serve your enemy. And in nakedness. For clothes, you're going to have to go to your enemy. You might, you might think you're going to own your own brand, but who you getting all the materials to make it from? Caucasians, Arabs, uh, the Asians. Okay, read on. And in what of all things? Anything you want. If you want to learn about Christ. Right. Who you got to go to? You go to, you go to your black church or you go to white, the white church. But who you think teaches the black church about, Teach. about the Bible? Bring it out. White folks. God, even, even if you want to learn about your Savior, you got to go learn it from theology school. Right. On. And he, he meaning your enemies. I'm going to show you because God said, most will talk to the Israelites. You ask them who he was, right? Okay. And what this enemy going to do? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Wait a minute. Process of elimination. Bring it out. God said, if y'all Negroes don't listen, this gonna happen. Y'all tell them this didn't happen? Teach. They doing this today. You just don't know about it. Go go down, go down to the mountains of Virginia and uh, Utah and they get, they get our brothers and sisters, they hide them, they don't know where they at. This brother here missing, this sister here missing. God said what? Read it one more time. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck Read on. until when? Until uh -huh. he have destroyed thee. God said, I'm going to take the yoke. He's going he gonna to put it on a white man to take these yoke off. Why? He said, until he had destroyed you. Don't listen to him. Hey, he said, until he had destroyed you. I'm going to ask you again. What race are you? Huh? What about you? What race, what, what, what race do you come from? What you put? What you put on the application? Huh? Black African, right? Oh, hold on. Black, so you said Black African, right? What you put what? So what, what's your other race? Huh? So that's my whole point, though. You are. You do have a race. No, no, yeah, but you're Israelites. That's right. Read it one more time. And he shall put a yoke of iron. Upon thy neck. God said, your enemy's going to do that. These are black folk. They look like you. Right. But who is the Bible saying he's talking to? Moses said he was talking to the Israelites. That's, right. that's who That's who we be. 
we always what God told the people. And that's what it is. But how you gonna come back to him? You have to repent, bro. Right. Watch this. I'm gonna show y'all a sin that y'all in. First Corinthians chapter 11. Bring God it said, out. God said, the yoke of iron gonna be upon them blacks and Hispanics. Look at it. These are the Native Americans. They, they were carried around with um, yokes of iron on their necks and all that. So what happened though? It was because of sin, bro. I'm gonna read and see y'all there. All three of y'all, I can see it right now. Let's see if y'all, now, God said that was gonna happen to the Israelites. What race is on earth is this, is this happening to that's walking right here today? That, huh? Us, right? So God said, we have to keep his commandments or that was gonna happen. We said, all right, yeah, whatever, Moses, whatever, whatever. So now that happened. That's over with, right? Y'all think that's over with? It's spiritually, it's not. That's why he took the yoke, right? Hey, you do know that the white man still want to put the yoke on our neck. And why God told him to take it off? Because I just asked you your race and y'all don't even know. Right, bring it up. I, 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 I can ask you what foods y'all eat. I bet you y'all eat the five foods that God said not to. I can ask y'all what holidays y'all celebrate. God said don't celebrate holidays. So you got to ask yourself who y'all serving when you leave here. You serving, you serving the devil. Anything, anything this place say to do, God said he's against it. That's how you know we walking in Babylon. Watch this, read on. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. It's to the Israelite black man. Read on. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Mm -hmm. And the head of the woman is the man. Because Christianity tells you that you 50-50. Right. You got you to gotta walk with the uh, woman. No, God said the head of the woman is the man. Right. I, ain't, I, I didn't write this. Read on. And the head of Christ is God. Read on. Every man, every Israelite man, praying uh -huh. or prophesying. Uh -huh. uh, now, now, what the word prophesy mean? What would you say prophecy? Mean? What's the, what, what was your name? Say, you know the word because it said every Israelite man that's praying when you send up prayers or when you prophesy. What does that mean? Hey, hey, hey! Be this last verse that it pertains to one of the sins that you made. What about you? Anybody know what prophecy is? All right, read this. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Having his what? Having his head covered. I said, what? Having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. God says, if you have your head covered while we are prophesying, we're going we to prove to you what the word prophecy means. He said, your head got to be uncovered. Look at all these brothers in black and purple. Is that is their head covered? Bring it out. Because that's a law of God. That's, that's right. right. What y'all gonna do? God said you gotta you gotta take the head covering off. I didn't write that. Y'all still got it on. See, that's the sin y'all in. That's just one of y'all sin, but y'all gotta go. And y'all gonna continue staying. Even I don't give a damn. Whoever reading the Bible, if you hear the word on the TV, God said you gotta have your head uncovered. Right. That's, I didn't write that. These are laws that you have to do for your salvation. Right. Yes, you, you don't think God gonna come back and destroy you for wearing hats all the time when you live with someone. Well, if you hear the Bible, yes. Even the way you dress, God will judge you. Bring it out. Cause he got the way the Israelite brother and sister supposed to dress. Right, right. right. We supposed to be the light amongst the world. That's not right. be like the world. Teach! But y'all still got your hair covered. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna, Matthew, Matthew 26. Hey, and here's one more thing too. But we don't, we don't, we're not begging nobody to hear the word of God. That's right. We just let y'all know. We let y'all know to hear y'all sins, whether you like it or not. That's you know, you know, heard one of them, but y'all still disobeying the word of God. They're gonna be up to y'all. He might can judge you when you walk down the street. I, 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 I want to just, I want to know for a fact that I'm, I'm sitting right with God. Right. How are you gonna know that? You gotta read what He said: "Thou shalt do this, and thou shalt not do this." Cause everybody gonna get judged. Right. That's you know, right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. 
We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.